Hey, what's up? I'm Pierre. And I'm Sebastian from the band Simple Plan. And we're here hanging out in the Rhapsody. Doing our thing. Doing our thing. Nate Danger Hands Hills. Yeah, well, the story. You know, the story behind him is that we were on our quest to, to make this record. We really wanted to make something a little bit different. We wanted to infuse some different sound and influences. And, and you know, I think you, people can't deny that more and more there's a lot of electronic and, and hip hop influenced music and urban is really big. And I think it's kind of cool because you, you can use these tools and, and still adapt them to what you do. I knew who they were from seeing them on MTV for like two years straight. They was, they was killing it, so I was pretty sure who they were. And at that time, I wanted to, to venture out and challenge myself. It's cool to put yourself in a room with someone else who, who's talented and who can throw you a different idea and inspire you in a different way than you're usually used to being inspired. The songs are still very simple plan. They're very catchy, very uh, guitar bass and rock. I think we just wanted to, to, to try something new, and he was the guy that we knew who was behind all these Timberland records that was apparently very involved in like the Justin Timberlake record and that Melly Furtado as far as writing it and the sounds. Um, so, you know, when we heard that he was looking for people to work with, we, you know, put a call out there and he was actually thinking of working with us because he knew that we were coming out with something new as well. It was a phone call. I was in London working on Duran Duran. Phone call from uh, Walt and Brian at, at um, Atlantic. They just hit me like, showed me who was on their roster, the project list of who I want to work with. I picked Simple Plan. They just told me what they wanted to do. I told them I had some ideas I wanted to work and we made it happen. So we finally got in the studio in Miami and um, we just, just fully collaborated. I'm doing beats, they playing on the beats. And, and the first demos were already like, oh my God, this yeah. is what we need to do, you know? This is the different sound we've been looking for. We just kind of went there with an open mind, you know? Just saying, okay, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen, let's just go there and see what's gonna happen. He, basically, what he said, he's like, I'll just do my thing, you guys tell me, let me know when you like something, and then we'll work from there. So he just will do beats and sound and stuff, and he does like an idea every five minutes. We had come up with the basic idea, and then they would take it and record on their own, the drums and the guitars and the vocals and stuff like that. But the basic bed was laid down. It was really a collaboration. And I think that's why it sounds real. It doesn't sound like put together because it's not like he sent us a beat from Miami and said, there you go, and put that in your song. You know, it's more like, hey, I have this idea. Now you sing on it. Tell me, let me know what you feel. Put some guitars on it and then let's keep going from there back and forth till it's over. So. It's a magic that has to happen in the studio. When you're in the studio, I can see your energy. I can see when you don't like something. I can feel when you don't like something. I can feel when you love something. And we just keep it moving from there. And we, and we get up, we, we get a lot more done that way. If there was one song to pick to, to do a remix, I would say The End. It has a techno feel in the beginning. And the whole, uh, 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 uh. And, but they replay it with guitars. We just totally flipped it. They just totally flipped it. And, took it into a pop record. So by the time we got to the hook, it's just a smashing pop rock record. It's funny because when we wrote that song, we we were in Miami and we went out with Nate to a club. We didn't know who was gonna be there or anything. We just like, let's go to Mansion, it's probably popping. So we went to Mansion, we in there, you know, the music is bumping and we just look up and we're like, that's Tiesto. We kind of got wasted until six in the morning listening to Tiesto all night and came to the studio the next day and had all these trance ideas in our head. We just went in the next day, took that energy, and came up with that record. Ego, it's not 